Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Minecraft in Exile. Oh, the excitement. Monster infighting. That is a thing. Um, although the only example of it that springs to mind is when skeletons get in a arrow shooting fight with each other. Not sure if there are other examples. Probably. Alrighty, where are we? What am I doing? I have been building up food reserves with fish. It's uh, something I will do occasionally. I don't typically do that during uh, recording an episode of the Minecraft in Exile show starring me. But uh, what I do is I just kind of sit somewhere, usually right here my back against a nice cozy cozy warm campfire my lovely uh, fishing rod which i think is maxed out now yes mending lure three luck of the c3 unbreaking three i uh, i caught a fishing rod with unbreaking three so then i combined it with this one for a mere 25 experience levels what a reasonable cost and uh, now i have an excellent the best fishing rod there is so that's positive. And um, then I put some fish to bake on the campfire. And do a little more fishing. And catch tropical fish for some reason. Really, I'm hoping to catch spell books at this point. Although that's not... Oh, what was that? That was a bow. Power four. That's pretty good. So this bow, it's the best bow I've got at the moment, power 5, flame and unbreaking one. That's actually not really going to do me any good. Um, I'm going to have to decide whether to put infinity or mending on this guy. Also punch. Punch can go on there. I may not be able to afford to fully enchant this one. I might have to start another one from, from scratch with, with spell books. Might be too expensive. So I think my the main reason that I decided to make an episode was to actually show off the current state of the pyramid build, which is progressing nicely. And um, so before I do that, just I will file away. I also made some storage for some of the things that uh, will come out of having a really good monster spawner, which is bone, gunpowder, dynamite, which you make out of gunpowder and sand, and uh, probably we'll use later on for uh, looking for netherite, assuming I don't actually know the mechanics of netherite in the new version of the game. I still need to go investigate that. What else am I doing here? Oh, I've got some sand to put away in my not quite correctly named sand and gravel bin. I should rename that, I guess. Let's take the enchantments from that bow. That gave me, wow, that was pretty good. An entire level of experience there. Throw that away. Would be classic if I... Uh, Threw my good bow or my good fishing rod into the lava. Seems like something I would do. Alrighty, let's just have a quick spin over to the pyramid here. Um, I'm maybe going to avoid my village. Ah, we'll go into the village at some point. I'm going to make another... Well, I want to expand these staircases so that they're at least three wide. Maybe five wide even. Up to the top of the pyramid, but uh, anyway. The structure of the pyramid, you can hear all the villagers. The population has exploded. I lit up the entire bottom section here, so really there's no monster spawning that goes on in here, or if there is, it's extremely infrequent. I've been building up the, the steps from the outside, obviously. I mean, it would be possible to do it from the inside, but you'd need either You'd need a lot of scaffolding, whether that's dirt or, or scaffolding, scaffolding. And here is the 
turn off the UI there. Here we have the current state of the whole, whole overall, the whole overall, the whole thing. So that's actually not much. So let's let the sun shine on in there. That's actually not much to complete in that half of the pyramid, and then the whole thing will be the whole thing will be halfway completed. If that, it's an awkward sentence construction. Anyway, and then as you can see down here. We're, what are we, four steps up here with another, what, 10 to go, but each step requires, in percentage terms, I wouldn't really hazard a guess, but less material than the step before. So it's coming along nicely. I've had, I've actually had yet another raid since the last episode that I filmed or recorded, I should say, and uh, it went really well. The golems took care of most of it. Um, I've got a lot of villagers now, and I'm thinking I'm this hallway gets congested, really congested, so I think I'm going to break down these bedrooms and uh, expand the whole thing out into the pyramid. Not really any reason not to. I just did want to have them confined in a fairly small space. It must be getting to be evening time. Yes, I put a clock up here too, so I didn't have to, so I could easily see what time of day it was while I was inside here. So there you go. Oh, all right, so what I was thinking, I also made a stockpile of arrows. During the last raid, I realized that uh, I didn't have enough arrows to do a proper job of defending. It's actually, if you can find yourself a position to stand and and uh, be a sniper, that, that works a lot better than hand-to-hand -hand combat in the raids. Like, so much better. Because the hand-to-hand -hand just tends to result in an awful lot of death on my part. And respawning, which is a pain in the box. Alrighty. So... My plan was to uh, do some pyramid building. So why did I come back to my boat, you ask? That's a good question. Obviously, I wasn't really thinking it through. I also made um, a bit of a cobblestone stockpile for me to fill while I'm just kind of noodling away on Minecraft during my, say, watching YouTube or listening to podcasts, which is kind of something I've been in the habit of doing for a long time. So, I don't have infinity of cobble yet, but, and nor will I. I'll take the stockpile down once I'm done building the whole pyramid. I don't really have a good feel for how much more cobble that's going to take. And that being said, uh, let me just do this in the daytime. And drink some water. Hopefully that wasn't too audible. Alrighty. Yeah, I was gonna take the boat over here, but I think I will just have a very brief upright wade. All right, so this is fun. I'll just demo. This will be the most popular episode ever. Watch going to demonstrate how I go about adding a level here. So I just build out enough of a step here that I can uh, do this with a minimum of moving my hands around. So just hold down the keys to back up and, and the mouse button to place blocks of cobble. Also to back up, I guess. Back up, crouch. Crouch is what I'm looking for. And then once I get three more rows in, in each of these two directions, three more, yeah, rows, I guess, is maybe the best way to describe that. See how fun this is? 
like I said, this one's going to undoubtedly be the most popular episode ever. Watching me place cobble. You do want to have a bit of a ledge to uh, back up onto, ideally. It's not, I mean, obviously it's not going to ruin your day if you don't, but, whoops, oh, out of cobble. And you do have to aim a little bit precisely so that you can just kind of, the cobble will get placed and you'll continue to back up with only just a slight, a slight hesitation in the movement as the cobble gets placed. So this will be row number two. This is the slower part. And the, the wall part, the vertical part of each step, goes a lot quicker, which I will show you in a moment. I'm going to have to work on my ASMR. Is that the right? AMSR? ASMR? I don't even know what that stands for. So here we are, placing cobble. It's very soothing, this placing of cobble, and you can just relax and enjoy the repetitive sounds and my soothing, soothing, ever so soothing voice. Relax. Relax. Go to sleep. Snore. I won't ever know. I won't tell. Because I won't know. So how could I tell? All right, so that is one horizontal layer of this quarter of the pyramid. And, oop, no, not creeping. Not creeping, just walking. Just walking. And at the corner, if you post a backstop, or uh, put up a little backstop there, then you can quite quickly place these, whoa, 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 try not to fall off while you're doing this. Place these uh, set stretches of the, oops. I guess I made my backstop too high to do it symmetrically, which is actually slightly more efficient. Okay, so that's it for that stretch. That's one step built on that corner. Oh, I might have another thing to show. I don't know if I've actually shown this since I built it. I, um, you can see it here, the giant staircase into the sky. I will traverse that and talk about it as I do so one in one moment. One moment, please. All right, so that, that's that. That's one whole quarter. One more slice on the layer cake. And uh, what I would do is do another one here. And at some point I'll probably run up and finish that uh, that little bit. That's actually not going to take very long. Maybe I'll do that even uh, during this episode, since this is going to be the most thrilling episode of all time. All right, let's run the staircase to the sky, shall we? So I was getting a little tired of reversing to my monster spawner and thought about how, how I might speed that up a little bit. And I whack the microphone with my finger. That's always, I'm sure that sounded great. Here we go, I'm gonna run off into the, no, oh, wait, there's a bridge. Never mind. There's a pathway. So here we are. I believe this is quicker. Um, climbing up those ladders, uh, 130 some blocks up the ladder is pretty tedious. Um, I think I showed off my monster spawner before. Pretty sure I did. It's just my standard, and it, by my standard, I mean the one that I always build. I didn't invent it, but it does work well. Um, it's a nice size. It doesn't take that long to build. 
I also realize this isn't quite symmetrical, so I'm probably gonna, the spawner is four wide at the base here and um, 20 wide at overall, but uh, so it's an even number and this is only three wide, my little bridge. So I'll probably build one more, one more layer on this, a row on this pathway. These are slabs um, halfway up the block here. You can see there maybe. There's, and uh, so monsters won't spawn on this bridge or the staircase, so that's nice. Never have to worry about getting blown off the staircase by a creeper. Or shot off by a skeleton. So, I actually didn't need to come here in, ter in terms of repairing any of my equipment. But since I'm here, I will quickly murder these monsters. And, um, ah, I'll leave this for later. But anyway, you can see that you get a ton of bone and uh, gunpowder. Those are and string, I guess. Arrows, et cetera. Uh, the occasional witch. Zombies drop carrots and potatoes once in a while and iron, which is what happened there. Witches drop uh, these four things, plus also potions and potion bottles once in a while. Um, that's it. So you get all that stuff. You get your equipment that has mending on it mended, and you get experience orbs to go with it. So you can use spell books and things. What's not to like? Also the clouds. I don't know. I don't know if I showed that actually. It was an accident, but I built this right at the top level of the clouds. The uh, you can see them roll through the roll through the floor right here. There is a there is a block there, <laughs> but uh, the clouds themselves are I think f I didn't know that until I had done this. They're like f five or six blocks high. One, two, three, four, five. I think. Not sure. The clouds are five blocks high. Who knew? So we're just just barely above the layer of the clouds here on this bridge. So that's kind of fun, I guess. Can plummet down at any point into the water, but the rowing is fast, but the climbing of the ladders is painfully slow. So I think the running up and down the staircase speeds the process up considerably. There I go into the clouds, out of the clouds. You do you do get a, quite an interesting uh, view of the pyramid here from this height. You can see the not exactly a honeycomb, I guess a diamond lattice pattern. It looks a bit like a stretched sheet metal mesh. And uh, because the lighting model of the outdoor lighting model of Minecraft is quite straightforward, it's just vertical basically. Anywhere there's a block above you get the shadow. So once it's once it's enclosed, it'll all look like that from the inside. Shadowed. So, what am I going to do? Maybe that's about to be night, isn't it? Okay, let me just, uh, let me just wait over to the staircase here, and then I'm going to take a look at my recording time, and then I'm going to go back to the game, and I'm going to run around to this side, and... go up here. I think I'll aim to finish off this quarter of the bridge, the bridge, the pyramid. I'll just sleep out here tonight. Seems like a good thing to do, hey? It's a beautiful night. Beautiful night. Crescent moon. Sunset over the jungle. Beautiful. So, how long will this take? Shouldn't actually take that long. There will be a point soon where, uh, oh my gosh, I keep whacking the boom, the microphone boom of every time I reach up to 
adjust my glasses or in that case scratch my cheek you know as we do as one does there will be a point very soon where I can just kind of stand in the middle and reach all the blocks that I need to reach which will speed up the completion of this portion of the pyramid Hmm. We're almost there now. I wonder. Maybe I'll build the floor out in the the slower, but not so much clicking method. At least for this layer. That, as they say, hmm. this isn't going to take much longer. This pyramid is ruined. Oh, I'm going to have to start over. I better get the TNT. How could I be so stupid? Oh no, another one. Oh my god. Time to blow this pyramid up and start from scratch. I can't believe I did that. Oh, wait a minute. I have a pickaxe. Of course, you doughhead. Just do that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's awesome that I did that on camera. What an idiot. Oh, look at me spawning up in a tree. I wonder why I did that. It's weird. <laughs> what a maroon. <laughs> well... If Dell's watching, that's one for you, buddy. If not, that's one for whoever gets a kick out of watching people do stupid things. <laughs> oh, Lord. What a dope. Oh, there's a golem under there. Go uh, kill him and get the iron. <laughs> All right. Sigh. I get the fun of sorting my inventory. <laughs> What's not the lake? <laughs> Look, there's the splat. Oh, no splattered corpse. Just the splattered inventory. All right. I oh, back up to seven. It seems to be what happens every time you kill yourself. No matter if you kill yourself with 150 experience levels, you'll get seven back. That seems seems totally legit and fair. Oh, what a moron. Now, uh, I guess this is my opportunity to explain my fabulous inventory sorting uh, technique. <laughs> I want to call it that. I just have usual places where I look for things and uh, that's that's the extent of it, really. And I can't even get it right the first time around. There we go. Back to how I more how I like it. Now, <laughs> now I know that's enough to kill the kill the player. That was awesome, super fun. Oh, what am I doing? Going the long way around. Hello, Mr. Golem. How you doing? Did you enjoy watching me splatter? All right, right back up to... Oh, hey, 
Let's just get some iron while we're here, shall we? Yeah, you there. You, you're too dumb to go to the stairs. You're also kind of useless on the outside of the pyramid like this. So next time, make sure you spawn inside the pyramid, okay? Thanks. Should I go do that underwater guy? Nah. There's the plummeting location right there. Same position. I was just getting in. I was just getting into position to build this wall. When I decided to splatter myself. Because that's fun. No, I'm not. Normally I would be standing on the wall when I do this, but I guess nothing's very far away now. We're just about there. Just about there. If I can manage to not splatter, that would be the best thing. Yep, here we are. The final, the final stones. There it is. One half complete. Well, except for the staircases. And I think I'll start working on maybe some decorations. I'll put some vines and I'm going to have to find some nice light blocks. I'm thinking maybe the uh, the sea the sea lanterns might be a nice ambiance, but I'll have to go enchant up and get enough powerful enough equipment to go face off against the uh, whatever those giant ancient fish or whatever they're called in the in the ocean monuments. So uh, that's a thought I had. All right. Well, seeing as how this episode's about building, I will, uh, building on the pyramid, I should say, I will spend a few more minutes working on this layer, and that's going to do it for the episode. So uh, I know everyone, every single person watching at this point will continue watching to the bitter end because really, why wouldn't you? It's probably actually slightly faster to do the one section. Uh, wouldn't really matter. It's going back and forth as opposed to back and sideways. Oh, it's to the same thing. Oh, how much iron did I get from that guy? Five. Oh, that's pretty good. That's good. It seems to vary between two and five, I think, with the average being three and four. Three or four being more typical amounts of iron from the golems. Which is funny when you, when you think about how much iron it takes to spawn one of those things manually, uh, which is a lot more than five. Like, way more. can't even remember, but it involves iron blocks and such. I should look up how to do that or figure it out. The point being that you can manually sort of create golems. I'm pretty sure. I haven't done it in a long time. By arranging um, iron blocks then they'll come to like life just like Pinocchio, maybe? Just like who comes to life. Certainly Pinocchio did. Maybe I'll make this a five hour long episode and finish building this pyramid. That would involve some more quarrying, quite, probably quite a bit more quarrying of cobble. One more. It's also coming nighttime. I don't know how many more hours of building this is going to take. Not that many, actually. I think we're way, well more than halfway through this process of the outer structure, anyway. 
the outer envelope of the pyramid. I haven't really thought too hard about what might go inside it, other than the world's biggest enclosed village, maybe, or probably it, but that's not going to take the whole pyramid, although I, I certainly could make it take the whole pyramid by building a bunch of internal floors and such. Hmm, that's an interesting thought. And maybe I'll just sleep the night away. Drink some water. Feeling a bit dehydrated today. Yeah, I'll just finish this layer. Efficient Minecraft building techniques 101. Don't creep, for starters, unless you have a reason to creep, in which case do. But in this section of the build, creeping is counterproductive. So you also have to aim such that you can make a nice uniform layer without skipping, like I just did there. Well, that wasn't exactly a skip, but to maximize your efficiency, you don't want to have to go back and make corrections to your... Oops, I ran right off. That was good. I wonder if I can do this. There we go. Oh, one extra, two extra, three extra. Not bad. And that is one more layer on the giant pyramid layer cake. So that whole side is enclosed in darkness now. Now, I don't think anything spawns in midair. Phantoms would spawn in midair, but I don't think they'll do it indoors. I guess maybe we'll find out. That's one thing I haven't actually done, is spent enough nights outdoors without sleeping to get phantoms in this, in this world yet. I'll do that at some point when I want phantom membranes. How many have we got here? Two, four, six, eight. Eight to go. Eight to go, so it must have just been nine the first time I looked at it. And uh, those last three or four are quite quick, so yeah, this isn't going to take super long actually to finish and closing and closing the structure. So uh, I think the time on this episode is, whoops, that was dumb, is uh, undoubtedly up. Just because it's part of the whole build process, I think what I'm going to do is show off, or I don't know if I'm showing off exactly, it's not the most spectacular thing in the world, but take a quick look at the, the state of the quarry. You can see how much, how much diggery is required to build out the park the boat facing the right way. Beep, beep, beep. Dismount. And I'm hungry again. You actually go through quite a bit of food when you're running, traveling, or fighting monsters. And you do want to run most of the time because it's quicker. I guess that's the main reason. It's quicker. I want to make a little map room at some point here, too. Here we are. Here's the, the quarry space. You can see the underside of caverns and underwater, or sorry, buried water features and things. Uh, if I get respiration, or when I get respiration, I might explore that a little bit. Maybe. And there's some weird cavern spaces here um, that I've partly exposed. Some of which I had come across before. As you can see, they're, they're lit up from above there. There's a bit of gravel up there. Why are those particle effects coming? Or is that from the lichen? The lichen give off particle effects? I don't know. 
Anyway, I did ex I did find some more caverns, which I haven't really explored at all down this way. Just lit them up enough that I wasn't going to be interrupted all the time by monsters. Here's my current area of quarrying, right in through here. And uh, over this away, I also lit up this area in exactly the same way because monsters don't really spawn when you do it this way. Because there's enough light even in the dimmest sections to prevent it. Found the, uh, the, oh, hey, hello. How are you, Mr. Enderman? Should I piss you off and try to die? Sure, let's do that. That'll be fun. Run, run, angry Enderman. On the loose. Look out, he's loose. Get my sword prepped. Ooh, I should have prepped that before I made him mad. Uh, where can I go to hide? Looks like I've got an opening right here. Okay. Oh, you picked up a block of moss for me. Thanks. Appreciate it. I mean, uh, can I get you? I want to see your eyes. No pearl? Ah, what a ripoff. But I do have a moss block. So anyway, Enderman baiting aside. I'm going to have to get enough pearls, ender pearls, to uh, find a stronghold here pretty soon, I think. Uh, so anyway, got these, uh, I don't know what these are called. Oh yes, I do. Lush caverns. I think if I go far enough this way, it, it connects back to the, or maybe it's this way. It connects back to the staircase I made from the, the main base to the, to the depth. Anyway. It's not that important, but it is quite interesting. It also Im impacted my ability to quarry in that direction. So um, anyway, you can see I'm doing it in kind of these square rectangular sections. And when I dig out something like this, it's because there was iron or gold up, up there. And that is about as exciting as that is going to get. So, uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode. What fun. Thanks so much for watching. Keyboard compatible. Yes, indeed. Thanks so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves. And I'll see you next time.